Yeah. So this is on the Facebook library thing. Do you, how do you want, want to do this? It's quite a few. Oh, this is fine. Um, yeah. So cool. Uh, do you want to go in your ads manager? Is it getting any sales? Oh uh, yeah. You can go, go click into that if you want. What are these? Oh, those are initiate checkouts. Have you optimized for purchases yet? Uh, I don't think so. No. How do I do that? Okay. Um, do you have any sales that we can see? Let's just check your purchases real quick. Mm -hmm. So two sales. Oh, two, three, four. Okay, so those must be the freebies. Okay, and then yeah, making them. A couple of the pro the official products have sold as well, but they're in the minority. Okay. Um, I would recommend doing shop now instead of learn more. Okay. Shop now. Shop now instead of learn more. Mm -hmm. And then optimizing for purchases on all of yeah. these. Let's go to your shop buy. Let's go to Facebook. Let's check your settings real quick. Mm. You want to reconnect? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize that that happened. One sec. Have you, you've just got to keep logging in on this thing, have you? It's not happened before. Okay. Weird. That's it. There you go. And then we'll go to settings. I'm just going to double check your data sharing settings. All right, you're on maximum. That's good. Okay. And then... All right. Yeah, cool. You're good on that. And then let's just double check your pixel real quick. I just want to make sure all your settings are correctly configured. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think you're good to go on this too. Oh, here we go. He's maybe on. Oh, uh, okay. This is going to improve your match rates. It's going to help you with your remarketing. Oh, okay. There's more data. Exactly. Exactly. All right. You're good to go on that. And then let's just bounce okay. back to your actual ads manager. Cool. So that's improved. And then what cool. we'll do is we'll just go ahead and duplicate this. We're going to create a new campaign real quick. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a few tweaks that I think will really help increase your sales. Okay, cool. So same thing. We'll just go to the ad set level. Mm -hmm. And we're going to change this to purchase. Okay. And then we're going to do versions, some day click, one day view. Do, do we need to specify what product needs to be purchased? Or is it just, it's just looking for any purchase? Yeah, any purchase. Okay, okay. Yeah. And that can include the free one too. And then we're going to switch this to automatic placements. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do. Okay. And then where have you historically gotten all your sales from? Uh, probably from the US, I think. The oh, UK a bit as well. Zero. So let's do. So so 28, but you made, yeah. Here we go. Right. US, it looks like. So 17, 17, 9, 
Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six that it purchased from the US. Uh, yeah. Okay. UK, UK, UK. Your highest spending has been from the UK, three UK. Mm -hmm. It's true. United States, United States, UK, United States, UK. Okay. So we'll go with both those. Okay. So we'll take this out and we'll just remove Australia. We'll keep the other mm -hmm. two. Cool. And then. What age range is using Adobe After Effects? I think it's probably going to be, you know, 20, from 20 to 35, 40, I would have thought. Okay. You don't think younger for people maybe, being techie? Maybe. Maybe the, the early, the youngest I could imagine is 16. Okay. Got it. We'll leave the age for now, um, but that's yeah. something to think about moving forward. Yeah. Okay. And then let's see. Ah, okay. So you haven't been prioritized. Let's, um, we'll have to fix that in a second. Okay. And then we'll go to the ads. And then. Can we do this here? Yeah, cool. Oh. Um, do I need to copy paste? Yes. I'll do that, yeah. Uh, copy here, yeah? Yes. Like that, cool. Perfect. Awesome. And then... We'll remove this part. Cool. Do, do you ever put UR, URLs in the captions? Or yes, you never do that? sometimes, but on Instagram, they don't get, they're not clickable. Hyperlinked. No, yeah. no. So that's the only issue we run into. And then shop now. Okay, cool. What is this? Page. That takes you to the product. It doesn't tell you how to download it. Uh, no, you, once you've bought it, you get, you get send a link to download. Oh, that should be in there. So that way you tell people how it works. Okay. Yeah. And then what file type it comes in. Okay. Yeah. I'll put and that then in how there to as upload well. it into the software. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. You haven't prioritized the events. All right, that's interesting. Okay, so that one's done. What's this next one here? And this one. We'll do the same thing for. Okay, and then shop now. Okay, now those are done, but what we need to do first is come back to your events manager okay. and prioritize your domain. Okay. So right here, manage events. What does that mean if this if the domain's prioritized? It, it means that you can only track purchases if it's prioritized. You're only tracking initiate checkouts uh, in terms of like the domain prioritization. So it should be purchased. Then the next one can be your, which one's your pixel? The, the top one, the ads pixel, that one. Yeah, and then we can do initiate checkout. Like we want to add more events here so that way you track more things. You're just tracking less data. Oh, I see, I see. For iOS 14 plus, right? Then view content, yeah. and then we'll do one more, which is going to be add to cart. And then what we'll do is add to cart. Uh, 
Okay, you got to get 30 events. That's fine. All right, cool. So now you have these in order and it's prioritized. It'll take 72 hours for these events to change, but okay. this is the best way to do it because you need this yeah. set up this way. And then Okay. Well, in after 72, 72 hours, do, what, do I need to return to this page to nope. do something? It'll be done. Okay. And then cool. there's one other thing we need to check in on, and that's your domain to make sure that it's shared with your ad account. It should be under data sources. And then it should be under actually brand safety, domains, connected assets, assign the asset. We need to assign that page. Done. And then I can't really see on this right side, but okay, I think it's assigned. Wait, so I can uh, extend it a bit if you want. Just. Okay, no, I, we are good. Um, okay. And then we'll go to your ad accounts and then connected assets, add assets. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. And then just checking your pixel. Okay, cool. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to your ad account. Open an ads manager. And then let's just double check everything here. Now that we have this, we'll choose your domain. Uh, We're just going to send the events to the iOS 14 plus now. Well, wow, okay. That's cool. You likely weren't delivering to iOS 14 plus people. Uh, okay. Okay. That's helpful. Yep. Nice. All right. So now we can publish those. Cool. So those are live. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. See how those do. Okay. That's interesting. There's so many complex features on this uh, Facebook ads manager. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, you, your audience is techie. So if they don't update their, you know, programs and true, you know, who are you reaching really? Yeah, it's true. You've got a good point. Yeah. Are okay. you doing any retargeting? Um, no, not at the moment. Okay. So I would do a retargeting campaign. Okay. So that's, that will be someone that's already visited the website, right? Yeah. Oops, I accidentally put this in the same one. Scar draft. Well, who, who are the best people to retarget? People that have probably added a product into the cart but haven't checked out, right? Yeah, but for your sake, it's going to be just about anybody who's ever engaged with you. So that way you have enough data to retarget. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I thought that was already typed in there. I'm like here trying to remove that word. <laughs> And then what you would do is we would do purchase. And then for your audiences, we just remove this and then we do custom. So custom audience, let's create new custom audience. Mm -hmm. We'll do website mm -hmm. and we'll do like 180 day of all website visitors. Because anybody who's ever visited your site, we're going to retarget them. Yeah. Okay. That includes the people who've taken your free products. I can't type today. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then we'll create this audience. How, how do you feel about a lookalike audiences of people that have visited the website? Do you use those? Uh, people who've taken your free product. Okay. Yeah. But not right now. You need a lot of those. Okay. Then we'll do, let's do video. We'll choose the content. People who viewed at least three seconds of your video, actually we'll do 25%. So that way it's more universal. Mm -hmm. And yep. we'll choose anybody who, let's choose your page. That's it, yeah. And then we'll do anybody who's viewed these, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So they don't have to have viewed all of these, just one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
how are you selecting it like uh, how are you choosing which ones to select i'm just choosing the ones that are the biggest in terms of views most popular okay yeah okay yeah it doesn't look like there's really any others maybe this one and that one but yeah and then instagram you could do mm -hmm. but we'll confirm with these watched 25 percent of video views Three hundred sixty-five day. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, create audience. That's another one. Mm -hmm. We'll create another custom audience and go after like Instagram or Facebook page engagements. Which one do you have more activity on? Instagram. Okay, then we'll go with Instagram. Everyone who engaged with your account will be like IG engage and. And then we'll do like 365 is here to get the most amount of people in there. Mm -hmm. Create audience. That should give you a pretty sizable audience to work with. Um, okay. Just between your Instagram video and website. Yeah. And then I can just name this retargeting stack. Mm. Do you always do ad sets uh, retargeting several groups of people in the same retargeting ad set? Uh, no, only for you in this case, because you have only Small so, numbers. yeah, for data, yeah. you have a little bit to work with so we combine, but once you have a gotcha. ton, segmenting is better. Okay, cool. Because you can give them custom messages. Yeah, true. And then, yep, all good to go here. Go to the ad level. And all should be good to go here. Boom. That's good. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So now we've got um, a new campaign out, which is just, it's a uh, prioritizing the domain with more data and then we've got a retargeting campaign out as well now purchase conversions exactly cool okay nice yep and then on your site just check your analytics yep and then your store conversion rate's high which is good. Well, is what's a normal on average conversion rate? No, uh, around the numbers. Yeah, two to three. That's fine. Okay. So you're above. Yep. Okay, cool. So emails, are you sending them? No, I started setting one up, but I, I haven't yet. Just because I, I noticed that we only had like two or three people subscribed. So I just thought, what's the point? Two or three people subscribed. You need to make sure that they opt in in order to get that free product. Is that something I have to do in the custom code? Or is there like a little switch I can um, change yeah. in, the, in the settings? Make it to where you have a pop-up that says get a free. Do you have that? I yeah, I got a pop up. I got the pop ups. Yeah, I could um add it into that then, I guess. So they only get the. Okay, that's interesting then. Lot... So are you, are you saying that you can only access the free product if they put in their okay. email? Exactly. Okay. So I'll have to kind of take it off the, the website so it's not available to, for, for public access if that makes sense it's got to so be can, private yeah it's got to be privatized okay yeah okay i'll have to work out how i do that i wonder how many of you are giving your phone number there yeah i'm not sure okay so yeah Cool. Yeah. And then you just need to be sending out emails and then any reason why you're not doing something on Black Friday? 
Um, no, not really. I was, I was, I guess I was just putting everything on pause until I spoke to you to get your, get your thoughts on things. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, it makes sense. I need to, I need to get Black Friday or some kind of winter sale going as well mm-hmm. for Christmas. Yeah, I need to get that going. Yeah. Is there a- any tweaks you can see that I could be changing to the website? Uh, adding the file type that they're downloading, how the download works, where they're yeah. going to download it, how, how, like a, you know, just an understanding of how that process works. So they know post purchase what yeah. the process looks like. Okay. Like an easy step, you know, tutorial. Okay, cool. Everything else looks fine. Um, nice. If you, uh, how do we get this uh, pop-up? Uh, oh, there we go. There's one pop-up. Yeah, I see that. That's uh, that's so uh, basically I, I've set it up so that if the customer has you got to give them you got they, they need to give you their email to get the code. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I need to work out how to do that. Yeah, there's As, a value uh, exchange there. So at the moment, what what I've got is if the customer has one or more products in the the the, uh, the basket, then they get this code for a discount. But if they have nothing in the basket, then they get off the free product. Yeah, you don't want to give away too much stuff. Make them opt in for different things, like anything free. They need to opt in. Okay. If you're doing they need discounts. To do they need to opt in or give you something to get the discount. Mm, don't just give away yeah. your stuff out there, because yeah, otherwise yeah. you might okay. as well just make it automatic. Yeah. True. So that way you're getting as much value from the audience as they are from you, because you're really, yeah. you're giving them like, they're, they're getting like a hundred percent value from you and you're getting like 10% from them. It's not a fair yeah. trade. Yeah. You know, we're running a business. We want to make sure that, you know, they've, they're not only thrilled, but you're also thrilled as well. So I can see how that applies to the freebie product in terms of the discount. Is, uh, am I, Op- is that okay in. to just they need give to that? their email? They okay, need to they need to too. opt in. Okay. That's okay. a special thing. Yeah, true. All right. I mean, to yeah, get, that makes sense. And if you're getting, you're basically giving them like, if you're, if it's, if it's ten dollars, you're giving them a dollar for free. Yeah. You're basically handing them a dollar if they take. Yeah, this. it's true. True. I need so, to. Yeah, I need to get something out of it. Right. So if you're gonna give them a dollar, at least get their email. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah um it, any other kind of uh ad campaigns that i should be looking at after the retargeting and the purchase conversions test different copy variations for sure yeah that'll be a good one yeah okay cool is it does it matter about changing the ad creative regularly how, how, of, how yeah. often would you suggest changing it well if it's converting then you don't really have to but I would update it, you know, at least always be testing, always have a test going every week. Yeah. So that is way it, you can it, find out what's working. It, is it worth, worth using the test AB uh, setting on Facebook ads? No, no, no not unless okay. you have big budgets. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. That makes sense. All awesome. right. Appreciate that. Yeah, Thanks for sure. For Keep help. me updated on how that goes. Yep. Will do. Awesome. All right, man. I appreciate it, Joshua. Take it easy. Thanks for the time. Okay, for bye. Sure. Bye.